For centuries, man has wondered how truffles, mainly globular products, different in shape and color, grew underground beneath some trees and he learned to identify edible truffles thanks to their remarkable taste and aroma. Furthermore, over the centuries, a traditional practice has been handed down from mouth to mouth, from father to son, the truffle hunter activity. The truffle hunter, a person who usually lives in rural areas and small villages along the Italian peninsula. There are about 75,000 truffle hunters. They know the different habitats, from open and sunny spaces to fresh and humid valley beds and the different species of trees with which truffles grow in symbiosis. They observe the trend of rainfall, the phases of the moon, the rarefying of grass in certain points, the flies' activity, the animal trails. Truffle hunters travel and explore woods and valleys however, to detect the presence and maturity of truffles. Through history, they have been forced to rely on the presence of flies, on eating the soil surface with a stick, and also on the pig's sense of smell, which was too voracious and difficult to handle, and then on the dog, which over the centuries has been used to being in company and working in close contact with men. When it was after Natal, January, anche dopo fatta la neve ci sono quelle belle giornate di sole c'è una mosca con un marroncino che si posa sul tartufo che è già in odore con la frasca passi sopra a quattro dita dalla terra dove salza la mosca lì c'è il tartufo sicuro battendo il bastone sul terreno tu ad esempio senti Se fa così lì c'è il tartufo, perché il tartufo sotto la terra, diciamo, dove c'è il tartufo, è come fosse un vuoto. Tu senti il rumore del vuoto, no? Proprio. Cioè qui senti... Si può andare pure col maiale, come anni addietro. Parliamo di la bellezza di 45 anni fa, se non diciamo anche 50. E si addestrava da, pic da piccolo, circa 20 kg, il maialino ma che addirittura veniva dietro come un cane. Quando che il maiale lo sente un palmo prima di arrivare sul tartufo, fa un solchetto e poi puntava e scava. Tu qua, devi stare pronto, quando lo prendeva gli mettevi un, tipo un bastoncino tra i denti per farglielo lasciare, che lui non poteva stringere, gli lo mettevi in fondo alla bocca, lasciava il tartufo, tu lo prendevi, gli davi quel bacchetto di anna, te ne riannavi e andavi su un'altra tartufaglia. Therefore, dogs with excellent olfactory skills are being trained to go truffle hunting and the truffle hunter establishes a deep bond with the dog. Sì, sì, certo. Ma lui ti risponde con lo sguardo. Ti guarda con lo sguardo. A volte quando cerchi il cane dice su, dai, trova, 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 quello gira, gira, poi si ferma, dice ma che vuoi, non ce n'è. E di me sa una persona. Ah, perché è una compagnia, no? Sono veramente legato a lei. The dog and the truffle hunter also collaborate in digging the truffle and pull it out of the ground. The so-called extraction, which is started by the dog using its bones, and it is continued by the truffle hunter who uses a tool called a spade or a hoe, while being careful not to damage the truffle or alter the ground. Over the centuries, the birth of truffles has been considered as mysterious, influenced by the gods, lightning and moon phases. Truffle hunting and extraction in the past, and still today in some regions, was practiced at night and was experienced as a sort of challenge with some magical characters from the woods and the underground. Quando io ma alzavo io presto la mattina, mio, mio nonno mi diceva non andare là perché là c'è la mala cosa. Ma io diceva che cosa è la mala cosa? È una cosa brutta. In the household, it is the oldest truffle hunter, grandfather or father, who teaches places, tricks ways of hunting and extraction to the new generations who are gradually feeling part of the community. 
Also, the Truffle Associations are dedicated to training young people by organizing courses and educational meetings. Women have begun to be an active presence in an originally male cultural environment. Secondo me il tartufo è, è, è una cosa magica, anche perché tu magari passi, non trovi niente, hai passi dopo mezz'ora e il cane scava e, e c'è, il tartufo c'è. Il tartufo è come un bambino quando nasce, una cosa, cioè, non te la... sai che c'è ma non sai come la bellezza che ha. Truffle hunting and extraction are carried out in a mainly individual and confidential way, but they are the subject of conversations and stories between groups of truffle hunters during festivals and association meetings, and arouse curiosity by wider audiences as well as demand for some demonstration experiences of the work of the truffle hunter and his dog. In the truffle areas, the passing on of the truffle knowledge, the legends surrounding the truffle, its hunting and extraction begin at an early school level thanks to the presence of truffle hunters, workshops, visits to museums and educational truffle grounds. In recent years also, people with disabilities have been involved in truffle hunting and extraction experiences, in direct contact with the dog and nature. The convivial moments where truffles are combined with traditional dishes are the perfect setting to tell stories about woods and dogs, adventures and legends about hunting and extraction. Il tartufo è un qualcosa di magico, no? Quando pensi al tartufo uno dice dov'è che vado a prenderlo? Non c'è. Sì, c'è un piccolo mercato, ci sono delle bancarelle, ci sono dei commercianti di tartufo. Però di fatto il tartufo dove nasce? Boh, nessuno lo sa. The transformations of agriculture, the preservation of forests and climate change are increasingly calling for discussion of truffle hunters and for the attention of institutions to protect territories and biodiversity. The relationship between man and dog and the environment and the consequent sustainability are pushing truffle hunters more than once to associate to take and encourage initiatives to maintain existing truffle grounds, plant new trees and regulate the rainwater fall. More and more, truffle hunters and their associations aim to make note to those who appreciate truffles in gastronomy how important the preservation of the natural and anthropic environment in which the truffle is born, hunted and extracted is. It is in the use of an intangible cultural heritage of knowledge and practices a world of relationships between trees, people, dogs, small communities, ancient practices, stories, traditional and scientific knowledge which help to keep internal mountain and hilly areas alive. Everything that has been told, from the truffle hunting and extraction to the preservation of the natural and anthropic environment, will be handed down by the truffle hunters and their associations to younger generations so that nothing of this heritage is missing, but is enriched with experiences and good practices. Mm -hmm.